Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create pivot tables. Pivot tables are used to analyze large data ranges. So for example, I could create a pivot table that does a count the number of times each of these number of hours you play per day values uh, appear in this range of data. So for example, it will, could count the number of people that play for four hours a day, the number of people that play for six hours a day, and so on. That's helpful for us because it allows us to uh, spot patterns and trends more easily than looking at this large range of data. So I'm gonna create two pivot tables. The first one is gonna be on this one that I've just talked discussed. So I'm gonna highlight first the data range that I'm gonna use in my pivot table. I'm then gonna go on to the insert menu and I'm gonna create a pivot table. And this dialog box appears. This is asking me two things. Firstly, what data do I want to analyze? Well, I've already highlighted my data. And secondly, where do I want to put the pivot table? So I've already selected my data, and this is asking me whether I want to use an existing worksheet or a new worksheet. For this pivot table, I'm going to select a new worksheet, and I'm going to click OK. The right-hand side is where you're now going to be doing your work. So this is the column that I have highlighted. If I'd highlighted three or four columns in my uh, uh, in my uh, pivot table, from a former pivot table, I would have four different options here. We've only using one. So the first thing I'm going to do is to drag this value down into my row, because I want uh, each of those to be displayed in a different row. So these are the values that, that are in that column that are highlighted two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours, and six hours. The second thing I want to do is to add the values or use the values. So I'm gonna click and drag the same heading into my values box. Now this is doing something um, that we don't want. This is actually adding the number of uh, hours played uh, by for two hours right away through the, the range. I don't want that. I don't want the sum of that. I want the count of how many people play for two hours per day. So what I'm gonna do is drop the arrow down on the side of the values box here, okay? And I'm going to ch uh, change the value field settings. And what I'm gonna do is to change that to a count. And what that will do then is to count the number of times that that appears. So I can see here that four people play for two hours a day. But the beauty of the pivot table is the fact I can spot straight away that the majority of players, or the majority of people who completed the survey, play for four uh, for four hours a day. Sixty-four of the one hundred people, followed by the um, second, which is nineteen hours per day. So it's very powerful in the fact it allows me to analyze data. I'm going to show you a different example. So I'm going to go back onto my cleanse data, and this time I'm going to look at the uh, the um, the number of people who um, have at least two days without gaming per week. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna highlight this column. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go insert pivot table. But this time I'm gonna do something else. I've got my range selected, but this time I'm gonna use the same worksheet that I've created my first pivot table in. So I'm gonna use an existing worksheet and I'm gonna click on the little arrow pointing up here on the dialog box. I'm now gonna select where my pivot table is, my first one, which is in sheet eight for me at the moment because I haven't renamed it. Okay, I'm gonna select where I want my um, pivot table to go, and then I'm gonna press the Enter key on the keyboard. Okay, and then I'm gonna click OK. Same thing again now, I've got a, 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 the pivot table fields option, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna drag that into the rows, I'm gonna drag that into the columns. Okay, and now you can see that um, 70 people have at least two days gaming per, um, per week, a break. Um, 19 people do not, and 11 people didn't answer that question. I can also filter the data. Okay, so if I wanted just to look at the number of people that only um, have play for four hours a day, I can do that and it will display just those, um, um, those entries, okay? So it's a powerful tool. It allows me to, um, to look at uh, trends and patterns. I could just look at the people who play for the majority of the time, three and four hours, and then you can see there that it adds them up for me as well. So I can, I've got a, a 83 of the 100 people play for three or four hours a day, okay? As well as that, I can create graphs based off the pivot tables. 
So if I highlight the data, so let's say I want to do a graph on, um, on this, okay, then I could create a graph, I can go insert, and I can create a chart, column chart, and let's say I want to create this type of column chart, there we go. I can do the same thing as I've done on my other charts. So I come to the uh, design, I can add chart element. Um, I don't need to show a legend there, so I can take the legend off, okay. I can add a chart title. So this chart title is gonna go above the chart, and this is gonna be the number of hours played per day. Okay, and I'm gonna drop my add chart element down again, and I'm gonna put some axis titles on. My horizontal axis is hours played. Okay, and my uh, vertical axis title is going to be um, count, or number of people. Okay, and that's how you create um, pivot tables, and now you can use the data from the pivot tables to enable you to create um, charts.